Kia ora everybody. Um, ko Sophie Hoskins, tōku ingoa. Uh, I work for EONS as the Elder Education Kaiārahi and am very fortunate to be here today uh, with my two friends Shannon and Amorangi who are from Wintech Te Pukinga and will introduce themselves a little bit more but they're going to um, share with us something special they have done with their first year students around Karakia. So I would like you to introduce yourselves. Yeah, good morning, Sophie. Thank you. Uh, ko Shannon Tuku Ingoa, ko uh, Ngāti Pāra Wena Te Iwi, uh, ko uh, Manga Huru Te Manga, ko uh, Tangitū Te Moana, ko Mohaka Te Awa Te Wairoa. Uh, good morning, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, kia ora. Uh, Amo Rangi Ko Tungua, no Te Manga Te Rua Matakata, Tauranga Moana, um, ko, ko Kaui Ngā Hau. Uh, he's right here the key going to the key. Kia ora. Thanks, boys. Um, so, yeah, I was recently at a presentation where um, they shared um, some kind of care with me and the process that they went through to develop those kind of care with their first year students. So, um, would you mind sharing a bit more about that and how, how you kind of came about the idea and how you? Developed that with your students? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. So, we've got an um, uh, outdoor adventure education program here um, at the Polytechnic in Hamilton. Uh, and we run like a level four and five certificate diploma. Uh, and then we also do a lot of stuff from sort of level one, two, three with a, a dozen or so local high schools, which are sort of through that outdoor adventure education process. So, um, within our program, we have some papers that are directed at. Um, Kachiaki Tanga and Tikanga and Amorangi here is our tutor for those. So, yeah, that's sort of where the positioning sits. Yep. Cool. Uh, yes, so I guess the development of the uh, karakia that we shared at the symposium this year, uh, the Tūrangi area. <laughs> um, so, this karakia that come uh, from my Tawira. So, our uh, Tawira and I sat down in one of our classes that we had and there weren't any specific karakia. Well, there are karakia, but the specificity of it is more overarching uh, instead of a direct connection to the taia that we're entering into. Uh, so I split my toyota off into groups. Um, they gave them the opportunity to share with everyone else which pursuit they were most passionate about. So they chose bush, uh, canoeing and sea kayak. And these are the kind of care that we developed specifically for those domains, for those taia. So the first one I guess we'll talk about is the Wangi Atane Karakia. So I split them off into the groups as I said earlier, and then we um, come up with describing words or how that taia made the Kawira feel as they walked into it, what they saw, what they could physically, spiritually, and mentally feel, or what kind of resolve it gave them to be in those taia. So, te wānui a tāne, um, yeah, that karakia goes kia whakaunua, te tangata, kia kāriwa, te kohu, tu mai rā, te wānui a tāne, ti hei mauriu. So, uh, kia whakaunua, te tangata, it is to balance. So, that was our uh, describing of what it gives to you, so it's balance for a lot of our kōira. As we know in the outdoors, um, yeah, this is why we do it, is to achieve those kind of, uh, things that relate to the kariaro to the seat of emotions. Um, and that was one of the describing words that they gave. And then kariwa te kuhu is to rise or to alleviate or rise the mist of, of the area. So when we go into the ngāhire, you're feeling balanced by what you also see is, is when the sun interacts with that taia, that kuhu uh, alleviates or rises off. But that also relates back to you as a person. So you might be feeling a bit weighed down mm. by the mist or the clouds. The, the release of energy of mm. you. Exactly. It just evaporates yeah. off, yeah. and then that's what the night it gets back to you. And then to my right, um, that just means to stand the great the great domain of, of Tani. Uh, that's when that mist rises off. And, mm. Domain is left standing and it's present and persistent, um, and something that we all can connect to. And we hope that it doesn't go anywhere. 
and in TA Modial, and it's just back to where Tani uh, gave life to in the upper room in TA Modial, that's the end of life. So all of those mines connect back to the Atua uh, of that domain or the protector of that domain in hopes that they would also be us as we walk through that place. So that's Te Waonu Atani, um, and that's that karakia that myself and my poeta created, and then I just took back to some of my whānau, um, and then just double checked everything and gave them the reasons. Um, because in my whakaro, that's one of the main things for a karakia is to set intentions or the reasons of the day. Um, so that it just ensures that it's safety, not only spiritually but mentally. The, within, you know, if we're talking in that uh, tile domain of bush, um, therefore, that karakia or set up of the day in karakia. That doesn't have to be the only one you can use, you know. So, uh, if you know another uh, one that is more local and relates to your Tawira or the area you're using as well, um, then we strongly encourage you to do some research for yourself and use your own, um, you know, government yeah. thoughts to yeah. Yeah, process and or whatever is reasonably appropriate yeah. to you, you as a guide or as a, or as a, a leader out there. Um, yeah. And, and then also it's got to work for your students too, you know, so you can't come up, you know, well, you can't come up with your own, but as we're saying, getting that checked by some, you know, some people who have their way or down, you know, yeah. it's really hugely important yeah. uh, to make sure that you're, you know, going to be spiritually safe. Yeah. And correct. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and hey, if you want to use the one that's there, go for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't talk with that actually. Um, <laughs> yeah. Don't talk with that actually. Uh, that definitely, uh, yeah, if it's local and you're in your local area, it's good to just go and talk to the local elders of that area, or Komato, or Kamatatinua, especially, uh, because you don't want to, what we all try and avoid is you don't want to appropriate anything. Mm -hmm. uh, really, you want to stay tuturu or staunch to that area that you're in, the whenua that you're in. Um, and you do that by having or with the local people or with the local marae and, and creating that relationship to build on in the future. And I think that's one of the big things in, in outdoors as well. So we can 100%. Yeah. I think that's probably where this Mata and the Māori discussion has to go is where if you're a kai for a school and you don't have a relationship with your local Papu uh, or Iwi, that's where you need to start. Yeah. You know, that's where you got to go. And yeah. You might have to put yourself out there a little bit and go and have some Go and knock on the door and see if someone uh, is keen to have a discussion. And 100% they're probably will be. Mm -hmm. you know, and if that becomes a, um, a support network for you to help deliver your wants and needs in terms of you know fulfilling that um, mata and Māori uh, space for your students, then awesome. Mm -hmm. It's going to do is strengthen your program. You know, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the yeah, so all of this is just what uh, our little cohort and the Toyota that we have uh, have created. Um, so, yeah, I guess from that, we will go out and research all of that and, and do all that mahi to strengthen your self yeah. and not only yourself, but your Toyota and then also the mana of those Toyota that you're going into. Yeah. Yeah. So, our, our moana karakia that we come up with, um, same thing. So, we rolled it within the same process, they split mm -hmm. off into groups again. And then they gave us what um, what they felt in the in the tayo and what they felt comfortable with and, and how it actually made them feel. So I think it goes like does go like this. So ka marino te moana, ka marino ngā kariaroto, ono kawana te waiti, te waita, ono kawana a tangaroa ki a hine marama, hongi uie pai ki iwi. So that's our second karakia that we come up with. Uh, so, kia marino te moana. Marino is calm or still. Um, so let the ocean be calm or still. It's like when you get that real glassy day, you're like, yeah, this is, this is the one. Mm -hmm. And then kia marino ngā kariaroto. Kariaroto is the seat of your emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, but also a roto is a lake. So it's another body of water. Uh, so calm your, your emotions or become towed in that environment, balanced. Uh, then Pono Kawana, Te Waiti, Ki Te Waita, uh, it just means to bond or to join uh, the fresh water with the salt water. As we know, uh, fresh water flows from mountains or lakes into the sea. 
um, and then that's that union ship there. And also the stars, the YT stars above mm. the white star star Matariki. Mm. Um, so it's joining those two different tie out together. Uh, and then on the Kawana Tangorua ke hine marama. Uh, Tangorua is the, the, the atua for our moana, it can be different to different iwi. Uh, uh, but here's the atua for that moana. And I think a lot of people identify with that. Some mm. iwi identify with different atua. And then that's up to you to figure out what mm. those different atua are. And Hine Marama is our moon, uh, and obviously the moon has a great influence on the moana uh, and the kai within the moana as well. So that's why those two are joining together in this karakia for me specifically, and for this is where I jump in with my Fugaro. I like diving, mm. so the marama is what we follow mm. for when, when we go diving, um, and also it's a control of the tide, so it gives us, it tells us when to go out, and tells us when kinners are fat or the crayfish are all good, or the fishing is good. And then Homie Huye Taiki is just a draw and bond that hold the card of the karakia together with us. Um, the coming of the ocean, the coming of ourselves, the joining of the fresh, the salt water, and then the joining of those two atua, they join to us as well and ensure that safe passage. Yeah. yeah. That fresh water is also our rainfall as well. Mm. So when that joins in, you're out there and it's falling down, then you often notice that mm. when it rains, mm. your ocean calms a lot more. Yeah. You know, more than 10 times out of, you know, yep. is that, you know, when that big storm comes through, she flattens off even more, so yeah. it's kind of an interesting thought. Yep. But you can also use that karakia in a lake basis if you need to, you yep. know, so it doesn't have to be specifically on ocean. Yep. So because, uh, you know, if you think about Tupu Moana, yep. it's a massive lake with a yeah. body of water, so that karakia will cover you in that mm. um, tie as well, you know, so yep. it's not specifically ocean based yeah. but it'll be a really good one to do even if you go before you go surfing or mm. you know sea kayaking canoeing or out you yeah. know anything on, on big bodies of yeah. big bodies of water because that's the yeah, moana eh, is just a large body of water it doesn't yeah. necessarily relate back to the ocean yeah just a big big huge body of water waikari moana yeah taupona taupo moana ni atia matarula ni rane so big body of water uh, yeah, that's our sea, body, big body of water kind of karakia that we come up with. Um, with all our toe as well, so all those describing words in there, the calmness that they feel when they see kayaking, or, mm. you know, the calmness that they gather from that environment is yeah. all relating back to them. Yeah. Um, so this is all their own lived experiences with a little bit of my salt and pepper, yeah. or our salt and pepper <laughs> salted in there, and, you know, garnishing it a little bit and propping it up a bit. Yeah. I think the important thing of all these is that they're student driven, you know, yep. and that process can be done yourselves as well within, you know, your class, your own classroom. Yep. Yeah. Um, and, you know, but if you can get a buy in for them, then they're more likely to want to recite those karakia mm. before you go into those spaces yep. to create more. You know, it's like mana enhancing, yep. you know, so you're creating that want for your students yep. to go and, you know, be a part of that, yep. that process. Yeah. 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 And it's easy as, like, you know, getting. <clears throat> someone from the local iwi to come in and then you just do the same activity, break yeah. them off into groups. What pursuit do you do you love, do you like, or what gives you this and that? And, and then just have your whole kind of there, maybe a real speaker, maybe not, and just kind of you know, back, back step from there and create something that gives them money and, and they want to say. Mm. You, might, you might have a teacher on board, right? yeah. on board a school yeah. in your in your modern part of the yeah. So you yeah. hunt yeah. hunt around, yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 Engage with other others, and I think that's what it's more about. Yeah, that closely say of because yeah. yeah. we are in turn giving you all our students have done, but this is just a, a framework for what yeah. you could do. Yeah, and yeah. A, a bit of a structural, but if you're a bit wee wee wah wah about it, but unsure, then yeah, yeah mm. this is something you can definitely do with the Toyota and, and create something that you know is their mana and it gives their mana, and it's mm. just not another thing to say. It's oh, we actually created mm. this. And this is what every line means to us. And sometimes karakia get a bit mixed up like that. It's, we're just mm. repeating something. Yeah. Um, and what does it, what's the knuckle, what's the idea, what's the essence of it? And this is the essence you're creating with your tawira. And they're like, yeah, you know, this is ours. This is ours to hold on to. And yeah. It's a takeaway for them as well. Yeah. You take that away and use it in the different domains. And it's a great way to encourage the use of te reo Māori and to shift the whakaaro the thinking to a more of a te ao Māori perspective. Mm. Um, it's been a um, 
since we you know that session at the Missouri Symposium, it's actually been quite a few a heater interested parties, you know, so it's been really cool, some really good feedback from uh, high schools and you know, kind of like on teachers that were there. Yeah. And also um, our outdoor industry as a whole, you know, so yeah. I, thought, I was down in Whitehamble the other day talking with um, some cavers about karakia for yeah. caves and yeah. specifically entering, entering, you know, that yeah. underworld, you know, yeah. so that's going to be interesting yeah. when we come up with there, you know, yeah. it's like, whoa, and I said, I was down and talking to um, some fellas so with a little money and thought so it's yeah. like, okay, how do we work that out too, you know, so it's like, that might not be a Toyota based model, but that might be, it's still, uh, you know, dealing with the locals and who they want and what they want and is it yep. going to work for them yep. uh, and is it going to be safe and and, yep. and work, you know. Yep. So, yeah, and that's, and I think that sort of, uh, you know, there was, there's been discussion about, you know, all our different pursuits too and um, tie up and mm. some more, someone was asking me about Alpine and Snow, the other, you know, all that sort of stuff. It's like, oh, holy moly. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all these different names of Snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so... Yeah, I guess the essence of that is, yeah, just look around in your local, really yeah. local areas, local schools. Yeah. And make it happen. Yeah. Uh, but the karakia is just the, almost like the start, right? And then it's up to you to dive a little bit deeper, join the real lessons, and, yeah. you know, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, so our third one that we created or composed or wrote uh, was a river one. Uh, now, this river karakia can be used as a, a, a chant. Uh, we've done it on the Whanganui River on the last day from Tieke to Pipiriki. And it's slow going, so we needed to amp them up a little bit yeah. uh, with that. So, yeah, so um, it's, I believe, the Awa Tere Tere, Poya Te Waka, the Wero Nui, Poya Te Waka, Kia Ruku, Kia Karewa. Uh, so that karakia, uh, again, from our students' perspective, uh, he awa tere tere is a swift river. Um, and you can see this canoe behind us, this is where we navigate our rivers on and have been for generations. <laughs> but he awa tere tere is a swift river, so it's swift. Uh, hoia te waka is just keep paddling. Uh, he wero nui, so it's a great challenge, or it's mountain, yeah, great challenge. Uh, hoya te waka, keep paddling, keep, keep navigating, or well, these things can still be navigated. Um, kia ruku, kia karewa, kia mana wanui, uh, which means to dive, so when you fall out of the waka, um, you'll, you'll become submerged. So when kia ruku, when you dive in, kia karewa, when you come back up, kia mana wanui, is to be like, courageous, you yeah. know, step past the yeah, hold yourself strong. Yeah. Yeah. Don't freak out, don't panic. Yeah. Um, and then tihei mauri ora is just when you take in that breath once you've come back out of the water. <laughs> back out there and you've got the breath of life in you and you carry on. And you get back in there. Yeah, you get back in your waka and then you're off again. Oh, cool. Um, so that can, yeah, we had one of the, uh, one of a couple of uh, people ask, can it be used in different contexts? Like if you're paddling through a little bit of a hard situation or some people are giving you a bit of slack in a meeting or something, it's a great way to open that because you're you're leaving all of that stuff behind and continuing your navigation forward. Uh, don't want to name drop, but you know who you are. Uh, yeah, so before like a big thing like that and you're just a bit unsure of how to navigate that or if it's even, um, if you can navigate it really, um, that's a great way to kind of yeah, become po in that space um, because there's balance, which is po, uh, and that's a good way to, Try to set that intention mm. for that. And how it's used in the chant is you can repeat those two or those two first lines there. Yeah. Uh, he awa tere tere, and then your toida, you just scream that hoya te waka. Yeah. Just slowly get louder and louder, but yeah. it definitely amps up the, the mana and your, your mm. little rofu and you use that on the phone and we are all amped, yeah. and then it was slow going. <laughs> so it was pretty. It was pretty crack up. <laughs> and then there was a couple less fun just before the pick up. <laughs> <laughs> so it was appropriate. Yeah, very appropriate. Very oh, appropriate. Yeah, that last yeah. big yeah, yeah, it was right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was a little water. So. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I know you didn't just saw it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but those are the kind of gear that we um, composed in, in our little akumanga or akuranga. Um, and that was all student, student driven. Mm. Um, and then 
I was just there facilitating that that knowledge there. I wasn't kind of trying to put my own self into that. Um, just giving them ideas. So he wrote up on their pieces of paper about twelve different mm. describing words. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, the whiteboard was full. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, what are we going through? <laughs> yeah. So that no, was good, and then, yeah, just keeping it um, brief, but yeah. but also to the point, um, mm. because you know nobody too likes waffling too much. Yeah, but yeah. Um, just getting the essence or the knuckle of of why. Mm. Of the why they're doing this or why they're out there and how does it make them feel yeah. and getting those the, the, yeah, the essence of the karakia yeah. um, but this is all just a framework really. yeah. you know, it's a little activity it only took us about about an hour yeah. to get all these things down so it wasn't even a full lesson mm. but we turned it into a full lesson because I just waffled on yeah. <laughs> um, about the different yeah. atzawa in those areas but no uh, it's something to take away, especially for the Tauri and the kids, and yeah. a lot more belonging, I yeah. guess, to, to where they are and a bit of a standing as well. Mm. You know, and then I hope one day, if, if you do choose to use these karakia or, or use them in the outdoors, and maybe you might have one of my students on on a trip or one of our students yeah. on a trip, and they'll go, wow, you know, yeah. this is the one we created in, yeah. in class. And, yeah. You know, oh, I don't that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think the, um, the best bit for them too was that. Those karakia were taken away, shown to some, you know, some real experts, uh, and then brought back to them. And they were pretty much within that 95% direct bracket, you know, it was like a couple of, uh, changes of a full tie here or there. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, it was like, and so for them, it was wow. You know, yeah. uh, they really, you know, people were really accepting of mm. what they'd come up with yeah. too. And it was like, man, that's, that's safe. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. So you, you, Guys have been happy for um Hayako to use these mm -hmm. totally. um karakia and then ideally work work towards maybe doing something similar with yeah, your own yeah, students yeah. if you can kind of connect with someone yeah. um, within your school or community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think we'll well the same with the caving one and alpine and yeah. we'll try and keep creating pursuit mm. specific versions too, you know. So yeah. and those will keep, you know leaking out yeah. and emails and stuff yeah, yeah. yeah. uh yeah so it'd be cool awesome. and, and uh, i mean if you're going to use it uh you know do some practice make sure your pronunciation is good and then know this backstory too you yeah. know it's important yeah. but um you know and that's uh probably more so important with all karaki is mm -hmm. knowing the understanding you know yeah, yeah. it's not often a, a literal english translation but you know there or thereabouts and then also where that karaki is you know, derived from, you know, yep. so what's the uh, the essence of it? Yep. And so these ones, you can say, hey, these were made by outdoor Toyota, so we can use them with our own mm -hmm. students, you know, yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, total for that actually as well, bro. It's a fuck up up of the Tokyo, where, mm -hmm. where does it have its footing and, and how was it created? Mm -hmm. Some of the ones that we say today, uh, you know, have its footing in some pretty uncertain times. Mm -hmm. yep. um, and for some, Maybe some karakia was created as yeah, a bit of a like a tato ponam or almost a, or like a peacemaker yeah. kind mm. of thing or poetry. You know? <clears throat> Where does yeah. it derive from? What's a couple of Yeah. Yeah, who's associated with it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Any any final words before I um finish up? Mm. Not really. no. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> nah. Thanks well, for having us on, yeah, Sophie. Oh, thank yeah. you guys for being so willing to share this. And it's just yeah, such a cool framework. And um, I think your students are super lucky to have you guys um, with that really strong, you know, Te Ao Māori um, perspective coming through your program. It's yeah. pretty special. And um, I'm sure you've got some really epic um, kind of graduates coming out. So mm. Forward to seeing them out there in the industry mm. and in the mm. you know with our schools as well. So totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you I mean, so much. No, no, thank you. And obviously, yeah, uh, Eons, um, yeah, awesome. They see mm -hmm. that you're chasing that Matarana Maori aspect is awesome too. You know, this whole journey that the organisation's on is mm. top notch to have a look at and see mm. the process. You know, so, mm. and see that the want is there. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm. yeah cool. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank